Okay, I'm going to dispel some myths about running what kind of battery in a PVS14. This is a PVS14 single AA power supply, right? A lot of people online say don't use anything other than alkalines, but uh, you're better to run lithiums. Okay, well, let's think about that. Back in the 90s, lithium AA's did not exist, and yet these things have been around since the 90s. So while lithium technology is better, right, is it really necessary? I'm more curious if you can run rechargeables. I hear a lot of people say, no, don't ever run rechargeables. Uh, and I need to talk to people who have they experienced bad things with rechargeables. I don't know. A normal alkaline, this is a brand new Duracell. Oh, whoops, I'm in wrong mode. Okay, brand new battery. Why is it at 2.2? What's going on? There we go. 1.62 volts. This is a freshly charged Duracell. 1.4. A little bit higher than it says it's rated for 1.2. And a loop. Which is also, uh, I think, yeah, 1.2 volts. But according to this meter, it's 1.37. Okay, now, what does it do in here? Night vision tubes don't actually want 1.2 or 1.5 volts. They want three volts. And this power supply doubles it, or I don't know what, what you call it. I'm not an electrical engineer. Okay, you can see the little LED. I turned the IR LED on. I'm getting 2.79 volts out of a regular AA battery. Not quite three volts, but close enough. And a loop. Right, it's got power, LED turned on. Two point seven nine volts, just like the regular double A. Turns on. Two point seven nine volts. So I have two rechargeables here. One's a Duracell, one's an Eta Loop, and they're still producing two point seven nine volts. Exactly the same voltage that this alkaline is producing. All that matters is this is changing the water voltages in here to 2.79 volts.